Hello, <coughs> hello, folks. Uh, this has gone by the Spyro coming to you live for Star Wars. That's for Public the Sith Lords. Now, from the last episode, we've learned the truth about uh, what, how is it that uh, my companions uh, been reacted when, uh, whenever I did the action, they would follow the action without hesitation. It is because somehow. Me forming attachments uh, of force bonds has somehow influenced them to go against their instincts of what their values. Of this horrifies me because I didn't want uh, that to happen to anyone. And it's all because of me uh, cutting myself from the force uh, on Malcor 5. Because of so many deaths uh, of Jedi and Mandalorian that has happened on that final battle, it is because uh, it was so great uh, of deafening me, it almost killed me if I hadn't be able to cut myself from the Force. And the Jedi Council had only one solution, cutting me of, of all attachments of the Force, and I agreed, I allowed them because I didn't want to be causing more deaths uh, anymore. But Kreia stepped in and stopped them, and she has revealed her true colors. She used a dark side life drain. I'd never seen her perform such a power, and she used it to uh, strip the J uh, masters of Rook Kavar says Kaya from their life force and their force powers and instantly killed them. She said enough uh, words after that to know that she is uh, the third party, the third Sith Lord. That is the betrayer, one that leads one of the legions of Sith. And before all that even happened, uh, the Jedi Council wanted to be able to wait uh, for the true self to reveal itself like they did, be and they revealed the reason. The Sith troopers that, that was on Onderon, and the Sith troopers from Paragus, and the Sith ships uh, that, that you may have seen, all of it was a diversion bait to lure the Jedi out into the opening. It's not a about the Republic anymore. It's about so much more. And Kreia had uh, confirmed it. She betrayed me. Betrayed us. And now uh, one of the Atreids uh, servants somehow got onto Dantooine and took her. Now the only place where Kreia could have gone uh, if she wanted to get off planet is the Oven Hog. And which, uh, I need to go there immediately. I don't know where Handmaid is at when all the commotion was going down. But I need to get to the hog immediately. <laughs> Guys! Adden! What happened? What happened here? Handmaid? But Kreia didn't do that. Why did she think that? But Hemmane wouldn't betray the, uh, the Jedi Academy like that. He, she would never allow her to enter the Academy. She would, if she thought she was bringing Atris a prisoner, especially a Sith Lord. So Sith Lord? And Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. A Sith? Are you surprised? All that talk of hatred and manipulation and standing on your own two feet? Sorry, you don't get any more Sith than that. Still, if we were all judged by who we were in the past, I don't think you'd understand who we are now. 
but Atreus will kill her. And if she does, Kray and I are linked if she dies. Kray really is a Sif. I'm feared. Then we have no choice. Something was if, was feeding on Onderon during the battle when we were trying to save Onderon and the Queen Talia, the Sif, the Force, and I think Kreia was responsible for it. The Sif are going to be planning to attack on Telos. I don't know why, but everything will decide there. We have to go to Telos. We have no choice. Faces. Can you now? That is a strange answer. I do not understand. Faces. Why are you following me? I would die for you when I tell you my life matters. It's my choice. And if there is an ending between us, my sacrifice will save you. It will be because it is my desire, not your will. But how would you know that? What if the force is controlling that? I simply do. And sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn from the Jedi Academy? I might as well tell you then. I've learned the truth about what's been going on the strangeness between some of my some of the others here. Mira, Bador, Hamain, Han, and you. The connections I've formed through the force. And that is why the others would fall me to their death. Then that is the danger of their beliefs. They do not understand you, what it means to be human, to be. Feelings I have for you are because of what I see, what I hear in your voice. All that tells me you are a natural leader. I follow because I believe in you. I would die for you because I believe in you. I will face this. Wait, I feel something. You're troubled? There's more do you want to say, isn't it? What is it? Why? Talk to me, Thesis. Because of what he did to you uh, at the destruction of your uh, dying moral guitar. If I do not stop him, Telos would be destroyed. I had to face him. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. Thesis? Why? The universe is not solely as our eyes to make an out to be, Thesis. You know this? I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to 
Then let us look upon each other. Faces, my feelings for him is something I can stray from, but I also can't stray from yours. So for this one time, let us look upon each other. That way, this will give me something to look forward to in the future. And maybe when you see inside of me of the Force, you'll see the galaxy is not what your master pictured you and forced to see. Hold on, hey, main. Crayhub, I'm coming. I will not let Adris kill her. Not after I wanted to answer, let her answer for why she has done this. There's a reason, but I need to confirm it from her. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atrus, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. Chris, right? She did do Atreus. She no, was. There was once the Darth Traitor, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traitor, one that holds the Darth Traitor. So that's her name. chance that one may be saved the one that you cast out where is the exile i had thought oh he will come but it will be too late to save either of us it is such a quiet thing to fall but far more terrible is to admit it your mistress awaits she has much to share with you Main. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for silence. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. I will not fight him. Then you shall fall. <laughs> nice one. Like how you did? All this time. Mistress, as you commanded, I commanded. Did I command you to consort with him? To follow his teachings? To betray your oath? Mistress, I do not understand. I... Of course you do not. But you will learn. I will not have you hurt her. I'll save this.
Going need to use shield. Speed of burst of speed. Force power. Energy resistance. Battle meditation. A drone. A drone of strength. Main. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid of emotion. All that he was died at Malachor, and he dies there still, as he should. Leave her alone! One exile has been left to save another. You will not harm her? I told you to leave her alone. If you wanted someone to be punished, punish me. I'm the one that had her oath to be forsaken. I had her to go to her heritage to make her a Jedi. If you must punish me, if you must kill someone, you kill me. But not her. Never her. Atrus. Where's Krayum? Surrender, Atrus. I will not fight you, but I will if I have to if you do not stop this. Handmaid! That lightsaber you carry? It used to be mine, but you changed its color to red. I felt old, uh, I felt violated when you did that. Even though red is my favorite color, it is not a color I would want a lightsaber to have. I'll make you pay for this. Ferocity style, duo against a single opponent. Alright, Atrus, if you want to fight, I'll give you one. Adrenaline of Alkurdi, Adrenaline of Stamina, Adrenaline of Strength. It's been a long time since I've used this one. Burst of Speed, Force of Mew Team, RNG Resistance, Improved Battle Meditation, Force Enlightenment, Force Sight. You really have fallen. Alright, here we go. Get back here, you coward! Hemain? Hemain? Talk to me? She's still alive.
Atrus. So this is one of the reasons how Jedi keep dying. You are part of the reason. You have fallen to the dark side, Atrus. You must be stopped. And surely you must have seen that. What? By Kreas? What happened to you? Atrus, listen, the longer we talk here, the longer the Sith will be here, and these holocrons are part of the reason and how the Sith will be at Telos. It will destroy, finish what has started since the Civil War of the Jedi. It will destroy Telos again. There is no reason for this. She said you were the last obstacle to my enlightenment. If I wish to truly face the Sith to see their heart, then that meant facing you this last time. Where did she go? Did she say where the Sith is striking from? I do not know. Yet. But it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. You placed everyone at the station in jeopardy, Atreus, all so you could want to face the Sith alone by being the alpha female. Sif? What plans are you talking about? These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. And so, so you I used me? To return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now so that's they how they find me. Face this enemy and defeat them. So that's how they fight me on progress? You caused people to die because you wanted me to be a target? And the Jedi Council too? What is this place, Atreus? All the knowledge of the Sith, gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets, and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the Outer Rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. I will not fight you, uh, Atreus. If you surrender, I will spare you. There's been enough deaths already by you and me. Surrender to you. Never. Let us end this. With pleasure. Or to style. I'll humor you, Atreus, with styles of the Jedi and some uh, of the style uh, that uh, that with the War of Malkor has of the Mandalorian showed me. Master Healing. Battle of Stimulants. Energy resistance, improve battle to meditation. Force wind.
force enlightenment. Unlike you, Atreus, I know that I am a Jedi. No, I am more than the Jedi. I'm more than who I used to be. I'm not the person that went to war in the Mandalorian Wars, so I will not kill a helpless opponent, Atreus. Even after everything you have done, I'm not going to let you off that easy. I'm going to spare you, Atreus. We have greater problems than this, Atrus. This is bigger than you and me. There has been enough killing as it is in the galaxy. The whole crots. It can't be. What has happened to you, Atrus? We've been both uh, been guilty on many things. It's not your responsibility. Sith Sid knowledge is forbidden, and there is a reason it's been kept safe. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic. Do what you had done. The time did not seem so wrong. It never does until you realize you have lost your connection to everything, to everyone, and to yourself. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I've become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Indeed you have. Now, tell it to me straight. Where had the Sith been striking from? Sick of that noise. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those Death. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Because they have learned from me from what I've done. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Is that where Kray had gone? To Malkor 5? What I started? Yes, you are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear, and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. What does this, any of this have to do with Kraya? Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force. Greater than the one before. Greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. Why would Kray would do this? Why would she want to do something like that? I don't know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor, and you will die along with her. But... If Kreia is Sif, why would she do such a thing? She is the betrayer that she tells me about. She is one of the leaders of the that commands the legions of Sif, uh, aside from Darth Sion and Fuses' master. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sif, and the death of the Force. It is madness. It is impossible. But she believes you are the key. Death of the Force? It's not possible. How could I not not tell she was Sif? Because the Force had been stripped from her, as it had been torn from you. At times, I wonder what we would be if the Force was taken from us. If we would truly be Jedi or Sif, or simply human. But why would I matter to any of this?
If you know, you must tell me. Heard enough of this. This matter's done. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, or end my life as I wish to end yours? I would do nothing to you, except for one thing. I am sorry. Sorry for all of this. I did not realize that the Mandalorian Wars would hurt others than I had. I had known to me, and cared for me. And I did not know what, what I have done at Malachor 5, cutting myself from the forest is something that the Sith in the future would learn from. That would do all this destruction to you, to the Jedi, to the Council, and to those that had trouble with me. I will undo my mistake. I will undo my sin. I will do what you would have done. I will go to the fight to Sith and save the galaxy as has gone Spy Revan once did. For, for a minute there, I too thought I lost you. Kray has told many lives, and the art catcher is difficult to see one. Are you alright? It's not your fault. See her answer for what she has done to the Jedi for leading you to the council. Hamain, it's okay. I'm right here. This is not your fault. I am to blame for all of this. It's okay. Of course. Uh, forgive my display. I I am the last of the handmaidens no longer. I am Rihanna. That's your real name. And the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face us. Brianna? It's such a beautiful name as I have always suspected. I've always suspected that your name, your secret name, would be beautiful. And I was right. It's good to finally hear your name. Now, let us finish this. We got a galaxy and a plan to save. I knew I always knew that ship was the surf. Battle for Teos has begun again, and this time things will be different than the Civil War, than the Jedi's Civil War. There's not much time to explain, but all this is mainly my fault of what is happening here. Good to see you. It's good to see you again, Saron. How did this happen? You need to give me the details now? Everywhere. And the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We 
did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the fuel situation. Yes, no fuel from Paragus. I got it. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. From the Republic, no doubt. We need to get to that ship. It's called the Ravager. I don't have time to explain how I know, but it's a long story. Have you heard any more reinforcements? Anywhere other than the Republic? A squad of troops sent by Queen Talia are currently trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging the station's fuel system. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? Time and place, Adam. the Ravager. Then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Good luck. Thank you. We're going to need it. I believe this would be a perfect time to stop here for now. Alright folks, this is the part where I will be put a stop here for now, so this has gone spy, the spy sign off, we'll be right back after these messages.